With 80% of first time home buyers confessing they'd love a do-over, perhaps there isn't such a thing as too much information. Today I'm talking about the most common mistakes first time home buyers make and how you can avoid them. Number one, you fall in love with the home staging. Some sellers remove almost all of their belongings so that a staging company can come in and completely redecorate. The effect? Stunning displays of unblemished design perfection. Playful bedrooms, serene spa-like bathrooms, and spotless kitchens. The trick is to not fall in love with what's on display, but to picture where your things will fit into that space. What you wanna focus on is the structure, the bones of the house. The location, does it fit your needs? Don't get caught up in all the things in that home that aren't even staying with it anyway. Number two, you view way too many houses. I get it, you don't wanna feel like you're missing out, but if you've got a great realtor, me. <laughs> and they've asked a ton of questions, you're covered. So our job is to filter out all the homes that don't fit your needs and offer you the best of the best. I always say to my clients, I would rather ask you 500 questions and show you five houses than ask you five questions and show you 500 houses. And seeing too many houses just overwhelms you and you often forget what you saw in the first house versus what you're seeing. And it's just overwhelming and quite honestly, confusing. The next mistake is that you don't get pre-approved. I've said this so many times, but I will keep saying it over and over again. Get pre-approved. Trust me on this one. First, it tells your realtor that you're serious and also the seller of the house. The pre-approval process can sometimes take weeks and weeks. And with financing conditions of 10 days, if you're not pre-approved, it just won't happen. So my recommendation, just do it. Go out and get your pre-approval. The next common mistake is that you use all of your savings as the down payment. Depleting all your savings to increase your down payment could make it very hard to pay for closing costs, which can add up to thousands of dollars. You also run the risk of facing future cash crunch problems. Whew, tough one. For instance, a temporary job loss. Reducing your total down payment might mean adding mortgage default insurance fees, but it might be better to leave yourself a financial cushion than to be forced to take drastic action, such as borrowing money later on. Next up, you forget that everything is negotiable. While price is king in most real estate transactions, you can't discount the other terms. So factors like closing date, list of inclusions and exclusions, this is your appliances and fixtures, and maintenance or repairs to be completed before the closing date are all up for negotiation. If you find yourself really stuck on one term, examine your purchase contract. Is there another condition that you could be flexible on? If so, let it go. Often the best deals are the ones in which neither party walks away feeling like they won, but instead everyone walks away feeling like they negotiated really well. I'm Jennifer, a realtor with EXP in the Greater Moncton area in the lovely province of New Brunswick. I help people buy and sell in this incredible city. So I put these videos out in hopes of educating and hopefully inspiring you to take the steps that you need to get what you want. If you'd like a copy of my free buyer's guide, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to send that along. And please subscribe to my channel and like this video. I appreciate all the love.